Pastor Jeff here at the baptismal font playing in the water. It's a good thing every once in a while to play in the water and mark yourself once again with the cross of Christ, the remembrance of who we are. I've been thinking a lot about baptism lately. What happens? Who's it for? What does it mean? And what can it offer for the world? Often when we think about baptism, we think about our life in the Christian community. Some Christians, when they talk about baptism, talk about initiation into the community, whether it's a young child who will be grown up in the faith, or whether it is someone who comes to faith later and is immersed in the, the joy and love and community uh, of what the church can provide, and they come to the water. Sometimes we think about the symbolism of it, the, that water is something that provides life. Life as we know it, basically, can't uh, live without water. Except for that one uh, microorganism I've been reading about, uh, the water bear, the pterograde, who somehow can survive in space for some time. But even then, I think it's about dormancy. It's not about life. What do you think about baptism? What does it mean to you? Some people treat baptism as fire insurance, or they respond to it as a family expectation. They think maybe it's something you're supposed to do. Some uh, look at it to the exclusion of others, to those who are not baptized. But maybe what baptism is really about is not about our expectations or our definitions. Maybe it's about what God is doing. Jesus seems to be at the center of baptism. After all, Jesus commands the church to do it. Go and baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And we hear in, in Romans, at least, that to take on a life of Jesus is to be baptized. It is to live like Christ. It is to die like Christ. It is to be raised like Christ. Maybe a rational explanation or a definition isn't what we need at all. Maybe to understand baptism, to live into baptism, to share the gift that is baptism, is more about engaging the life and ministry of Jesus. After all, all four Gospels start with the baptism of Jesus. The action doesn't really happen until Jesus emerges out of the water. To the heavens are opened up. To the voice of God comes and says, this is my beloved one. To the spirit descends. This Sunday, we have a festival in the church here, the baptism of our Lord. We'll hear the story of where Jesus is baptized. I invite you to explore with me what that story means, what that might offer to the world where we might find true meaning in our life and faith together through the life and story of who Jesus is, who he was sent for, what the mission of the kingdom is all about. And I invite you also to play in the water. For you who are baptized, the next time you wash your face, just mark yourself with a cross too and remember that you are part of the life of Jesus. And if you are not yet baptized, know that this is for you. It's not exclusion against you, but you are welcomed into life, the life of living water. Come, explore what it means to live a baptized life. Come, explore what it means to live a life in Jesus. Peace.